Guys, I think I've rolled on every single freaking banner in the game so far. I just can't help it. I love every single character that has come out. Like, Smokey is absolutely fire. Before that, we had Beryl and... Oh, yeah, I didn't roll on Fleur. But then we had Hero, we had Eve, we had Sinsa. We've had, like, so many awesome freaking characters. But all of that doesn't matter because welcome back to your monthly dose of secondhand crippling depression. In this show, we love to showcase my crappy luck. And with you guys watching my crappy luck, hopefully you guys will feel the pain too. And so with that being said, I am going in on this banner. I love Smokey. Smokey is like ultra waifu. And so let's just freaking go. Like, oh god. Oh my god. Why does this happen every time? I actually get like some level of anxiety. I'm like, <laughs> all right, we've done this before. Let's do it again. Let's just hit it and quit it, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go. Confirm. Okay. Come on. Come on, boys. A 10 out. This is without five star guaranteed. Maybe we'll get Genevieve as well. Okay. Okay. The best we got is a five star. Uh, as expected because it is oh my god no new five star okay okay <laughs> okay here it starts guys okay let's go on to our second temple oh, oh god I, I can i can feel where this is going already Alrighty, second temple let's go confirm confirm please 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 oh wait it froze well that sucks. I'll be right back, guys. Wait a second. Where did my temples go? Um, I didn't get to see anything. Let me go check if I got anything over here. I wish they had like a banner history thing so we could actually see, but it doesn't look like I actually got anyone new. It, yeah, I didn't even get a new character. We know that for sure because there's no like shiny tag on anyone. Maybe I hit somebody and I got a dupe six star, maybe. <laughs> right? Right, guys? All right. Victoria, Caron, Icy, uh, Carleen, got Sharona got Uriel, got Michael. You know, more than likely, it's probably just a whole bunch of dupe four stars and five, maybe not even five stars. And I got a barrel dupe. What, 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 why give me the barrel, man? Why, what, the, 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 I had to go so freaking deep for barrel, man. What the, f oh my God, man. You know what? I cannot complain. It was like, what, 20 pulls or something that is still like below the, 50 pity. Okay, I guess that's where that mystery went. But let's keep going and see if I did Luxac anywhere else. Uh, nah, it doesn't look like we did. Okay, I, I guess that's it, guys. As if that's it, I'm freaking going to swipe, my boys. I'll see you guys in a very hot second. All right, lads, we are back. We've got one more temple to do. I Yeah, I'm not going to go any further deeper than this. I said I swiped, but really, I swiped for like the $1.50 packs because like, haha, <laughs> great value, am I right? Okay, and so let's just go for one more tenant on Smokey's banner. Let's go special star flare times one. Yeah. Let's go another 10, confirm, and let's see what we get, guys. I'm not expecting too much. I'm. Oh, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh, come on, come on, please, 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 please. Smokey, 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 smoke. Okay, I think it's gonna be a while. I'm gonna lose my breath if I keep doing that. So we got Corgon. Who else we're we gonna get? We're gonna get. Uh... Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, guys. Come on, just get to it. Oh, wait, I can hit the skip button. Oh, but if I hit the skip button, we'll know if it's a new or an old one. Oh, God, no. We've got to keep going singles. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Smirky. Smirky. Smir... Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Uh, I'm just looking for some mental health counseling. Oh my god, come on. Oh man, this was supposed to be like the hypest, the comeback arc after the training arc of like getting shafted every freaking time. But no, it had to be a Connolly. Uh, where does she even fit in? She's like a water unit and... I don't know what? Man, on one hand, she is a new unit. She is a new six star and I did get her on a 10 roll. And so I really should be appreciative, but like... Uh, it burns, guys. It burns. Okay, lads. I'm just going to skip this and um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think we'll come back to this video another day. I'm actually just like dying inside, all right? And so hopefully the next time that I see you guys, I'll hopefully have recovered from this. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about Endgame, so uh, more crippling depression. This game mode has been out for like two or three days now, and I just want to say that like, uh, I, I don't know about this, man. I don't know if this is it. There is a lot going on here, right? And like, I went and challenged Felix, and then I came out crying, and then I went onto YouTube and had a look at some guides, and then I also came out crying after that, and then I went out to look for some guides, looking at the subreddit and the Discord, and then I also came out crying again. And so as you guys can 
can tell Endgame has made me a crybaby. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about these like kind of contingency contract like stages. These ones where you can actually select the tags and it gets like really, really freaking nutty. I've tried, right guys? Like I know it says zero here, but like I've tried some really, really BS stuff. There's a lot to digest in this one. I really think that all of these tags are really, really overtuned. Like it's incredibly hard for me as a day one player to actually hit even 3k points. And the reason I want to hit 3k points is because we have six stages, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then if I come over to the end game reward, you'll see that the last prize is actually given out at 18,000 points. And so what that means is that you've got six stages, six opportunities to get 18,000 points that works out to about like 3,000 points per boss. And I just want to say, especially as a day one player, it's really freaking tough. And really, if I'm saying it's tough, like it's going to be really tough for the people who started way later than me. Even starting like one month later, you'll be set back way too much. Like uh, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. And so guys, I've just opened up a couple of the different guides that people have made for the respective bosses. And what I really want to point out is like these requirements over here, which is absolutely crazy. Not only do you need hero and mid guide, but you also need like breakthrough or like for some of the characters, max breakthrough for a lot of these different like archetypes. For example, a lot of them require hero so that you can get the preemptive. You need like the breakthrough three on mid guide. As we go on and on, hopefully more strats are going to be developed. Uh, I think there are some which are a little bit better like this one over here. So as you can see, we do have like predominantly five stars over here, which still really hurts. But then we do have Alice, which is a four star and then we are borrowing a whale hero and then i see this guy over here i'm like what the frick level 70 a3 that's really freaking high and then let me just scroll through a couple more so we got like a level one alice but like oh my god like level 80 hero level 80 area like i think this is a bit too much like i saw this one i'm like okay maybe i'll use this one to clear but then i thought like how the heck is everyone else going to do this? What if you don't have Luis? What if you don't have Sakare? What if you don't have Araya? Like all of these comps have been built to like kind of brute force these different bosses. And I completely understand trying to adopt like the contingency contract risk model. Take more risk, make it harder and earn more points. But especially from like a new player point of view, I think it's a little bit too hard, my guys. Now, I don't want you guys to be like, oh man, you're just complaining because you can't do it. You're still on zero points. I'm on zero points because I'm a procrastinator, okay? And I look at my unit and I have like most of the units and I can just borrow the rest to actually complete each of these bosses. Like guys, after seeing all of those guides and I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, 15 days, 19 hours, I can probably pull a team together. I'm looking at my units. I've got a mid guard. I've got a Sakare. I've got a Luis. And then where's my array? Uh... It seems I do have a Raya, thank God I have a Raya because like otherwise I wouldn't know what to do. But the reason I talk about this is because I can empathize with the people who can't say things like that. When they see this, they're gonna be like, I'm f I just don't think that this is the model. And if you guys have been watching since like even since her event, I'm sure you guys are gonna remember. I was like kind of criticizing the part or the quest where they were like, oh, level up your even sensor and i'm like bro i don't have evil sensor this is kind of like that again i would wager that probably like maybe only 20 percent of the population that plays as are actually going to be able to get this like for this icon this 18,000 icon and a lot of people are going to be like oh man what about bragging rights and all of that right nah i don't think so i think the bragging rights lies in the ability to actually clear it not the ability to get the reward again this is coming from a person that is very likely to be able to clear this 18k threshold to get this icon but i know that if i start Started like a month or two ago and I saw this I'd be like man and so tour dog I really hope that you will think about like reassigning these guys over here me personally as a hotfix I don't think it's right to under tune the event as it is now I think that people have made great achievements hitting like 3.6k 4k points or whatever doing some special builds I think instead tour dog should be making all of these drops accessible to everybody maybe not like everybody everybody but at least give everyone kind of like a good chance to get it again like I said I reckon maybe only like 20% of the population is probably going to be able to get this one now I'm not going to sit here and whine about this and not offer for you guys a solution right i've shown you guys a whole bunch of those videos i've shown you guys a whole bunch of like these different guides and so i think the only thing that we can do is that we have 15 days and 19 hours right and so between now and then we do have some time to actually be able to potentially clear it like assuming you have maybe a hero and if some of you have already used these boxes i i am so sorry i don't know if there's any other way but what i would do is i'll probably be farming for the next two weeks and not investing into anybody i'd be farming for like the equipment uh what is it called i keep forgetting these names the sublime i'd be farming for the sublime
sublime i'd be farming for like a whole bunch of these guys over here and if you guys have not used your boxes yet these guys the aurorian reinforcement kit these are essentially your selectors but like uh, you see over here we can actually get Araya. on the second one we can get sakare and on the third one we can get luis and so what this means is that some of those forest comps that we saw before they may be accessible to you and so yeah if i was like a new person i'd be farming those sublimes i'd be farming like all of those ascension materials for these three characters and on top of that i'd be sliding into the dms of some whales be like hey bro can i borrow your level 80 hero my account needs a bit of savings so it might need a hero you know what i'm saying and so yeah hopefully after two weeks you guys will be able to get like the a 340s like potentially i think the forest team right now is very very promising it seems to be able to clear all three bosses however when we get to fire it's probably going to be a really really freaking bad time and so if possible probably prepare some of the water units or like your second best team that is not getting super cucked by fire it might be the thunder team it might be your own fire team but like i don't know if the forest strat is going to actually hold up against the fire boss but yeah that's what i'm going to be doing i'm like furiously farming those freaking uh what is it the forest jaspers and i'm also looking at upgrading my array from level one and so guys in regards to these guides i'm going to be collecting them in my discord and so if you guys do want to keep up to date with them you can come join the discord link is down in the description but on top of that i think the more important discord to join is the alchemy stars official one and the reason that it's so important and i will drop these down in the description below is because there is this guides channel over here and this guides channel is really really critical it's going to contain most of the guides that are actually being like collated i think from the english global community point of view this is probably like the place where most of the guides are going and so obviously again before we start investing we need to see what the other six bosses look like and we also need to see what the big brain community comes up with and so we know kind of like what we can farm for or what we can work towards and then and only then hopefully the rest of you guys can actually clear this event because again like i i don't think this is it i personally think that these intervals are way too small like look at that it's just going from 20 to 1 percent it's like what about the 50 percent man and the fact that they give like such little points like uh, yeah again i i don't think this is it i personally wouldn't mind if they change the values of these guys over here however i do understand like some people are going to feel like their achievements are being diminished but with that being said if the tags do change it might actually provide an even bigger challenge but yeah it's just really tough guys i do think that there are some outs i do think that there are some hot fixes that could could make this really good and you guys already know i freaking love this game this is probably like one of the very last games that i would actually drop but when criticism is fair i think that criticism is fair and if you guys do think that this criticism is not fair then let me know why down in the comments below as always this is more of a discussion this is not me telling you things i'm not saying man this is bull crap i'm just saying like i don't think this is really it it might be a little bit isolating especially for the newer players and so that is the secret question what a sick segue and so if you guys could drop the answer to that secret question down in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means you've made it until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but on top of that let me know how you're going with the event i know there are a lot of people who have been hitting those three k's per day but the people that i do see like the ones that frequent the discords and stuff like they are not really the majority the casual players right i think a lot of people who are more casual about it like watch these kinds of videos and like oh yeah i'm just chilling you know and so yeah to be honest i just really want to know how you guys are doing in this event anyway like sub comment support links down in the description below uh, affiliate link we've got membership thing but as my level 1 Araya once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.